What's poppin' my dudes? It's the Clan of King here, and today I've got you guys the best two slasher builds in this game. They're both amazing, and it's basically up to your playstyle, which one you want. So first things first, you're gonna pick a shooting guard because if you know anything about the badges on this game, all the attributes are the same regardless of your position, but the badges change. And shooting guard is the best scoring build for anyone that's not a big man. So if you're not a big man and you're a scoring build, you're not a pass first playmaker, you're basically gonna wanna be a shooting guard. You get a bunch of extra silver shooting badges and some inside badges. Okay, so obviously driving and finishing is your primary. Now, shot creating is the first build. Now, this one is a lot better on paper. This build right here has all of the good driving, finishing badges. It has some good shooting badges. You can dribble, you can shoot mid range. But the second one is defending. Now, this one right here, it doesn't have any good shooting and dribbling stuff, but it has gold defensive badges and gold slasher badges, but Hall of Fame posterizer. And. Yeah, so it's it's not as good on paper, but if you're one of those roll type players, where you basically, you're a lot faster too, you're more athletic. So you'll be able to move around faster, play better defense, and defense is supposed to be very important in this game. So uh, yeah, you, you'll see the stats, but basically if you're a role player, you want to be good defense, and you want to cut to the basket and get hit by your point guard and then dunk on someone. But anyways guys, the height, I went with 6'5". Now this is obviously probably going to change in the full game whenever I get to see the actual stats. And the weight, I maxed it out and I maxed out the wingspan. Now this might change as well, but I'm pretty sure the weight will not change. Because your speed stays the same. And speed with ball is the only thing that drops with weight that I might want. And maybe vertical. Your wingspan, you kind of have to max it out because you're a slasher. Unfortunately, you lose mid-range. I mean, you could drop it a little bit if you're a shot carrying slasher. You want better ball control in mid-range, but honestly, man, I wouldn't do it. Okay, so these are the attributes for the two-way slasher. Now, this means that slashing primary, defense secondary. All right, now the only difference between this and the shot creating slasher is going to be your shooting, your ball handling, your speed, and your defense. Everything else should be about the same. Now there's a pretty huge difference in shooting. Obviously you really can't shoot with this build and you really can't dribble with this build. Now, I'm not going to say you can't. After you earn your cap breakers, you definitely will be able to. You have silver corner specialist and some bronze badges that will help you shoot. You should definitely be able to hit some catch and shoot shots. Your ball control, you will be over 70. You can get that tier 2 dribbling. You'll be fine. Now here's the main thing about this build that I love. The defense is crazy. Gold pickpocket, you got defensive stopper, you got all these badges. You're gonna be able to steal, you're gonna be able to play great defense. You have amazing strength, so you'll be able to blow by, get good animations on defense as well. And then the lateral quickness and speed are a lot faster. So whenever you don't have the ball, you're really fast. This also means on offense, when you don't have the ball, you'll be able to cut really fast, catch a pass, and dunk on someone with your max strength Hall of Fame posterizer. And you see you have a higher strength, you have a very high strength for a shooting guard, which is also going to affect your defense and your post offense. Dunking layups, all that. So that was the defensive slasher, the two-way slasher. Now this is the shot creating slasher. Like I said, the defense isn't as good. You still get some bronze and like maybe a silver badge, but for the most part, the defense isn't very good. Now the rest of it is great. The dunks are about the same. I think you get one tick higher. The mid-range is pretty high. If you lowered your wingspan, you would have a 70, maybe an 80 if you really wanted to. The three is okay, eh, but you still have silver corner specialist. Now, your ball handling is a 73 with maximum wingspan, so you could definitely make that higher if you wanted. Now, with this build, I would definitely go shorter. That way, you can still like dribble and shoot and all that. Now the defense isn't too bad, but you're not going to be seeing like crazy defensive stops. Like obviously you can play defense on your man as long as he's a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, whatever. But yeah, so you're not as fast. You're still fast, but not as fast. You're still strong, not as strong. It's basically just a trade-off. You want dribbling and shooting or do you want defense? Also, another reason why a shooting guard is so good for both of these builds is they both have defensive stopper, even though this one's is only bronze. Shooting guards will affect point guard, shooting guard, and small forward for defensive stopper because you affect one build, one position 
above and below you. So that's why that's a good thing to be a shooting guard and not a point guard. So anyways, guys, I hope this helps you out. I will be posting an update of what build I pick whenever the game comes out. Follow me on Twitter for some tips. And I posted a shot creator build if you want to check that out. I'm out. Peace. They don't want me to go away. Because I paid my own way. I made it out yeah. my own way. I'm 18 with great dreams. Rocking with a great team. Turning things to real life. I thought it was make believe. I'm out here. Working, grinding. Every day's the same thing. Shit is clear, this shit was made for me Wonder why you suck, you accept where you are